Okay, let's get at it. Hmm. I really don't think that counts as a privy, which I really think has something to do with privacy. Um, I am glad that the folks who are camped right up there have already moved out for the morning. Because this is um, interesting. But a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Okay, it is August 16th, 2021. Day 76. Um, so I just left uh, the Caesar Brook tenting area. And the interesting privy that they had there. If you can call it a privy. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm starting the day with a climb up Red Loaf Mountain. Um, once I get up and over this and down the other side, that there's actually going to be a nice long river walk along the Housatonic. And uh, that looks like it should be some easy miles. Um, then I'm going to, on the back end of the day, finish with a uh, climb up and over Caleb's Peak. And that'll put me in the town of Kent, Connecticut at 13 and a half miles. And the good news is Melissa's going to come and pull me out at Kent to uh, do a resupply tonight. So at least I have that to look forward to. Um, and I'll get a... Uh, a better update of uh, how she's doing, but it's still the current plan is still uh, that she'll get um, back on trail next weekend or this coming weekend. We'll see how that works out. We'll know more later. Okay, just up uh, the first little bump here. Looks like I'm getting a uh, a nice overlook. Um, I was just uh, chatting with a a day hiker. He's out just doing sections and all. Um, I'm really just uh, just day hiking, not even trying to section hike or anything. Um, but he said uh, he and his wife are heading to Mount Washington um, next month and are gonna take the, the cog train up so I whether I should have or not I uh, um, let them know that I had failed in my duty as a through hiker when the uh, cog train um, passed us on Washington since I just uh, gave a friendly wave instead of the uh, traditional mooning of the uh, of the train but uh, so like I said I don't know that I should have uh, mentioned that to him but uh, it, it amused me at least Okay, heading back down, but only for a little bit because still in the middle of some uh, ups and downs this morning. Okay, I am uh, just crossing over the uh, highest point on bread loaf that I'll be hitting. Um, doesn't go all the way to the top, so that's kind of nice for me today. Um, and. Uh, after this, we've got one more. Sorry, just checking my feet. Uh, after this, we've got one more um, big push um, before the uh, final drop down into uh, um, onto the Housatonic. So up ahead, I think that's going to be my last uh, big climb in the morning, at least before the the uh, river walk. So on down now. Um, I just uh, had a. Good chat with a uh, um, guy from Trail Crew. He's walking along. He's got a uh, um, a chainsaw strapped to his back, and uh, we chatted. I thanked him for uh, you know being out here and all of that. Um, and uh, he asked me, "So where's the uh, where's the big blowdown that I've been told about?" 
and I'm like clueless. Um, so apparently he's out um, looking for a big blowdown that uh, folks told him was uh, was right around here. Um, and either I was on cruise control um, and completely stepped over it and ignored it while I was uh, walking, or he's got a long hike to find that blowdown because I don't recall seeing anything that looked uh, looked like a uh, chainsaw um, requirement or even a blowdown that I had to step across um, since starting out this morning. So good luck to him and uh, thank you to all of the folks like him that volunteer out here and uh, um, keep the trail clear. Okay, I better uh, put this phone down before I trip and break my neck. See ya. I was, just came down uh, the last time of the morning down to the river and is this hiker magic today. Appalachian Trail hikers come in, on in, out of the bugs, enjoy a chair and look in the cooler for a soft drink. Oh, this is a pretty bonus place. I think I'm going to um, take advantage of it. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. So it is a pretty, uh, pretty open. We'll see if there's anything uh, left. Oh, there are. I will take me a Dr. Pepper and be happy. Take a drink and enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so I'm uh, just hiking along the river here. And this is like a five mile stroll that I think is gonna be much like this, where it's just a, a flat trail that follows the Housatonic. And a great start to it was uh, that trail magic tent. I haven't seen a setup like that where someone just left a, uh, a bug tent in that with a cooler in it. So I was happy that there were still uh, drinks in the cooler. And I uh, texted them a picture with my uh, thanks because they had left a number and said, hey, if uh, there's any problems here, give us a call. So I texted them a picture and said, thank you. Okay. On we go. <laughs> Anyone need any uh, bales of hay? Nice and neatly rolled up too. Nice little meadow here. Now I know I'm going to jinx myself here, and uh, that's a bad thing to do, but what the heck. Um, it's sections like this. It's a five mile kind of really flattish area where I'm cruising. Makes me have to think about where on the trail in the next 1500 miles or so I'm going to be able to pull off a uh, trail marathon because it's got to happen at least once but I haven't uh, looked ahead to see uh, where there's a uh, nice stretch of 26.2 miles that would be or the nicest stretch of 26.2 miles where it would make sense okay like I said I know I'm jinxing myself but I'll have to let that uh bounce around in my head for a little while. Still following along the Housatonic here. No complaints today. <laughs> Hello, I've been rescued. You told me one o'clock. 
Well, that was nice. <laughs> um, so uh, I think I mentioned earlier that uh, Moth is pulling me out um, tonight for a resupply. So she met me for lunch here in the middle. So actually I uh, have a little bit of a slack pack now as I go up the uh, toughest climbs of the day, which is uh, St. John's Ledges and then Caleb's Peak. Um, but, uh, she's still doing. Okay, this is, uh, been where I'm, I've been coming up. Right next to me. That is one big rock. And if this was Maine, that would be the way we'd be going. But, we're luckily skirting it. And then, uh, We'll see when we cut over to the top of it, but we're at least not going straight up the face of it. But this uh, section here is a blood pumper, that's for sure. I need to slow down here a little bit. Before I turned on the uh, camera, let my heart uh, catch up with me so I wasn't getting on vid, huffing and puffing quite as badly as I just was. But nice steep section. Just to remind us that. Uh, Connecticut has some hills, too. And some ivy. Hopefully I don't come through this uh, itching in red. like a little trestle over the uh, over the trail. I'll pretend I'm in like some uh, arboretum or something. Excuse me while I trip and fall. But uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna uh, turn this off again before people start laughing at me for. Uh, Okay, I'm officially on St. John's Ledges. I'm going to take the little side trail, even though it's down. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, cause I don't think this is AT. I think this is just a side trail. Um, to see what we got down here. this far, I might as well go the rest of the way. Okay, that's far enough. Nice view. See the river way down there. This was a uh, short, steep climb. By short, probably about a half mile uh, to get up here, but man, it was steep. Um, okay, that'll do it for now. Back to trail. Okay, I am at the top of Caleb Peak. Good climb and good views. I am happy that uh, most of the west, rest of the way to uh, Kent, Connecticut is going to be down. I wonder if you can see the sweat dripping down my face right now. 
<laughs> it's gotten warm this afternoon. But, uh, good day. Okay, it's day 76. I'm at Macedonia Road. In a little while, Jim will come down that mountain in front of me and climb across this field. I'll maybe hike across the field. And then climb across that little step laddery thing. And I'll rescue him and take him to get a shower and some laundry done and some real food. It's my job this week, support team. Woohoo! Yay hiking. Well, I have successfully completed my 13.6 mile hike from Caesar Brook campsite to the town of Kent. Connecticut. And since today uh, counts as a town day, we'll see if I can get an interview maybe with my uh, shuttle driver. And she's not going to be happy when she sees this that I uh, called her my shuttle driver issue. We'll see how it goes. She may or may not want to. Uh, participate. Ooh, should I go around it or over it? I'm going to be crazy and go over it. I don't know why. Your adoring fans have been missing you, dear. Hello, adoring fans. Hello. <laughs> they wanted a uh, Proof of life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm still alive. He didn't push me off a uh, cliff quite yet. Just not able to walk very well quite yet either. <laughs> Working on.